Hi everyone, this is Neha again. I am here today going to explain you how to create a virtual switch. So what is virtual switch? So this is something uh, which is going to be connected to your uh, virtual machine and it will it will appear as a NIC card. So switch, switch is something which uh, it's a hardware which we use to connect several machines in our uh, environment. So uh, when we go to a uh, a cyber cafe or we used to go to cyber cafe because because we have uh, machines in our home now so uh, you might have noticed that we have five or ten machines which uh, can be accessible to each other so it is possible via a switch so it's a hardware in which you can connect all the machine and then it's accessible on a network so same goes here when it comes to uh, the virtual environment we need to create a virtual switch before we go ahead and create a virtual machine. So let's learn how to do that. So on the right hand side of your machine, you would say, see lots of options. So here there's an option that's called virtual switch manager. You click on that and it gives you an option on top that says new virtual switch or network switch, pardon me. Then when we see on the right hand side of this window, it says what type of virtual switch do you want to create and then we have two up three options pardon me external internal and private so let's talk about it what actually these three things are external creates a virtual switch that binds to the physical network adapter so that network machine can be accessible can access a physical network so this is something which will help you to create an environment or a switch which can be accessible from your machine on which you are creating this uh, virtual environment and further so on so let's say your machine your laptop is connected to another physical laptop and you want to access this virtual machine which uh, you would be creating or in which you would be use, using this switch then all these three machines can be accessible to each other. Internal creates a virtual switch that can be used only by the virtual machines that run on this physical computer and between the virtual machine and the physical computer. That means this is a network in which let's say we have three virtual machines right now here. So when we create an internal switch Either there can be a network in which only these three machines can be accessible and if we use the or we create the fourth one and use the same switch which we are going to create then all four can talk to each other but and the fifth machine can be the physical machine on which this virtual switch is created. That's it. No further extension outside this laptop or the machine on which you are creating this virtual switch private network creates a virtual switch that can be used only by the virtual machines then run that running on this physical computer so that means not even accessible to the machine on which these virtual machines or this virtual switch switch resides only network between the virtual machines that's it so i'm going to create an internal one as soon as you click on or choose the option, click create virtual switch, give whatever name you want. So I have already created one for me, which is lab. I'm going to use another one as server techno. Solution. <laughs> Pardon me, it's a type of mistake underscore lab this is the switch which we would be using in our further videos uh, so it shows you all the options below we still have an option to change it to external it is showing us the name of the uh, wireless adapter and the uh, other adapter which we have on this machine of mine Second 
internal or private so we can still make the changes here enable virtual lan identification we talk about it in some other video so let's click on apply and okay so that's it guys it's very simple now how where do you see your link we again click on virtual switch manager and we can see here this is default switch it is by default available on the hyper-v console you don't have to click or create anything it is by default internal this is i created earlier and this is the one which we created on this so thanks for watching this video guys uh, the motive of creating this video first is to uh, explain you how to create a virtual machine exactly so um, I would be putting the link of how to create a virtual machine uh, in the description box of this video keep watching so that you guys can keep knowing how the technology works ex in the exact environment thanks for watching subscribe my channel so that uh, you would get to know about new videos and uh, like this video and comment in case you still have some questions or the concerns uh, so that I can answer that query for you. And even it, let me know on which topic do you want me to create another video so that that can be created. So thank you guys and have a nice day further. Bye-bye.